Hello and welcome. How is everybody doing in Virgo season? Are you uh, getting any, are you being distracted from the mundane, from your day-to-day -day routine? Well, if you are, I hope it's a healthy distraction. Coming up for you is a random reading. And I'm going to visit and connect with the moon in a few days. And I want to make sure I do a random reading. I don't want to be uh, in behind. I want to catch up on my schedule here. But there's a lot of, like I said, in, in the New Moon Oracle, there's a lot of energies in Virgo season. And <laughs> those energies can come up so fast and that's why I think there's a team of Pisces and Neptune that can provide intuition for us but also in the new moon oracle the mouse came up so Virgo brings in this light-hearted energy as well so But also there's a Virgo brings in this really practical knowledge for us, this down to earth knowledge and logic. But there's also Mercury. There's also has a trickster energy. And Mercury has a, has this dualism about him. He's a thief but he can take, or he, he tries to take anyway, but he's also abundance as well. And in my years of, 25 years of doing art and studying art, I, uh, I found that I really loved to draw flowers, especially daisies. There's something about a daisy I spent over 25 years of studying daisies and I don't know why I mean daisy I love daisies but my my favorite flower is actually a lily I love the the curves the curvature of the of the bloom of the lily bloom but what I what I noticed when I drew daisies was a daisy has two expressions one day's one expression is the fresh expression and the second expression is dried but it still has character In my opinion, anyways, the in this state, it still has character and it's still worthy to draw. The thing is, this both expressions are beautiful, and that kind of goes in line with this dualism of Mercury, you know. Also, Virgo's energy is the day-to-day. -day. Here we have, I found this rock, this object. It's called a mono. I found this mono when I was in the desert. And this represents the day-to-day. -day. It grinds corn into... into a meal okay now take a look at this mono one side one side is smooth right here and the other side is rough one side is smooth the other side is rough 
So again, this is, I think this is a really good symbolism or good representation of the energies that are coming in on Virgo season. And those energies, you know, don't necessarily, you know, come in Virgo season. They come in all the time, but these are, you know, if these energies come in, you know, we don't have to, you know, the ex unexpected comes in all the time. Not all the time in Virgo season, but throughout our lives, throughout a year. And that's why we can go back and kind of think, oh, well, there's a, oh, yeah, there's a team of Pisces and Neptune that if things happen unexpectedly, I have this, I can go into my toolbox and use intuition. But some things come in that doesn't make any sense. And Virgo, Virgo is going to bring in this earth logic, this street smarts logic for the collective, for our day-to-day -day lives. But you know, answering a spiritual call is illogical. 